Hello everyone, and my name is Qin Long Wu, and from Baylor College of Medicine. And today we are very happy and to introduce our recent progress on human gut microbiome and of high uh, altitude population. So firstly, and we know that that the high altitude environment is very quite different. So this will cause a very quite different format of agricultural production. So this results in a very quite different uh, dietary pattern and in nomadic population. So they do have very low intake of vegetables and fruits, and but rather they do have very quite preference and for the tea and also fermented milk products as well. And we are very curious about this type of uh, dietary pattern because we think it may be related with the human adaptation to the high altitude environment. So the next, and we compared uh, the gut microbiome pattern and between the high altitude and the low altitude population. And we do find that the Tibetan, Mongolian, and the Kazakh people do have a quite distinct gut microbiome composition when compared uh, to raw altitude population. And the next, uh, and we did uh, endotyping for those population, and we found three uh, classical endotypes, and uh, which is also very commonly observed in low attitude population as well, and including proprietary endotype and also bacteroides endotype. And the latter has been commonly uh, linked with industrial diet, while the former has been uh, associated with high fiber diet. So further analysis indicated that uh, so the nomadic population, including Tibetan, and the Mongolian and also Kasaka people, they do have high prevalence of private endotype. And such private endotype do have higher microbial diversity and when compared to low attitude people with private endotype. So this is the first time we reported a high microbial diversity in private endotype and uh, uh, among different uh, the population. So later we did a single analysis of a longitudinal Kazakhstan data set and we found that the Prevatella endotype is relatively stable because we didn't see a significant change during the seasonal shift. And because we do really not able to see there is a shift from Prevatella to Bacteroides endotype. So we think that the Prevotella type uh, in social nomadic population is very quite stable and which we think may be related with their nomadic dietary pattern. So lastly, and we know that the Prevotella endotype is very quite different endotype and has been documented as a pro inflammatory endotype as well in low attitude population. And uh, clinically, and we do able to see that uh, arthritis has been commonly uh, associated with Prevotella endotype as well. And we do know that Tibetan population do have very higher uh, uh, prevalence of arthritis as well. And this has been very comprehensive studied in China. So we suggest that we do need to have a comprehensive evaluation and analysis on high plateau uh, people such as Tibetan population and by considering their dietary pattern and gut microbiota. And because we do think that host gut microbiota and the diet interactions do able to help us to understand the human adaptation to low to higher uh, altitude environment and because this is a very big environmental challenge for human survival in such harsh condition. So lastly, and uh, our results is published uh, in uh, IMAT journal as uh, a correspondence format. And uh, we do hope we can have more discussions in the topic with you in the future. And uh, thanks so much.